Welcome to the Weekday Report for Friday, November 8th. I'm Tracy Peleshek. Here's a brief look at the news. Amazon.com will receive a $7 million tax credit from the state to build its massive distribution center in Kenosha. That amount is in addition to an $18.2 million financing package that the city has approved for the project. The $7 million state credit can be used over 10 years and will only apply to the company's state income tax liability. To use the tax credit, the company must deliver the 1,100 jobs it has promised and it must make about $140 million in capital investments. An indoor marijuana garden was the source of a Tuesday evening house fire in Pleasant Prairie. 33-year-old Richard Cantrell, who lived in the home with his mother, is charged with felony possession of marijuana with intent to deliver. A garden of more than 43 potted marijuana plants was found in a crawl space where the fire apparently originated. Police said the garden included an extensive lighting system along with a ventilation and watering system. Kenosha County's best businesses were honored Thursday night during an awards ceremony at UW Parkside. The Business of the Year honor was bestowed to Rustoleum. Small Business of the Year went to Equity Creative, and the Entrepreneur of the Year was offered to Michael Copper, founder and CEO of Centresis Corporation. Playing hosts to the Business Excellent Awards event were the Kenosha Area Business Alliance and the Kenosha Area Chamber of Commerce. A Democratic hopeful for governor campaign in Kenosha on Thursday, Mary Burke said her attention is focused on the people's needs. Burke, a former State Secretary of Commerce whose family founded the Trek Bicycle Company, visited Linnea Bakery and the Boys and Girls Club of Kenosha. She hopes to win her party's nomination to challenge Scott Walker in next fall's election. While in Kenosha, Burke criticized Walker's decision to turn down Medicaid expansion funds, a decision she said shows the state has leadership that doesn't care about real issues affecting people. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas earlier this year. Retailers are facing a shorter Christmas shopping this year because Thanksgiving comes later, meaning official holiday shopping season is nearly a week shorter. So retailers want to make up some ground. Many stores already have Christmas decorations up in hopes of putting customers in the Christmas shopping mood. The Central Girls Volleyball team had a good night at State on Thursday. Here's Dave Marin with the story. Maria Rash, number 23, scores a point and then has a serve result in a point in the Central Girls Volleyball team's win over Muskego on Thursday night. The four-game triumph in a WIAA Division I quarterfinal match at the Resch Center in Green Bay put the Falcons into tonight's semifinal against Nina at 7 p.m. The Falcons took out Muskego 25-18, 21-25, 25-21, 25-15 to improve to 43-8 overall. David Marin, Kenosha News. What's trending today? Governor Scott Walker is continuing to delay his decision on the Kenosha Casino, having said Thursday that he hopes to have something to announce in the next couple of days. Do you think his delays signal a yes or a no? Tell us on our Facebook page. Up next is Jeremy Reeves with I Love My Ride. Hi, I'm Jeremy Reeves and this week's I Love My Ride features Kenosha residents Bruce and Cheryl Hanna. The Hannas own a 1935 Ford five-window coupe street rod that they discovered at a car show in Kalamazoo, Michigan in 2004. The car, which is a striking tangelo color, is powered by a 327 cubic inch, 300 horsepower small block Chevy engine and includes an all steel body. It also has modern options such as air conditioning, power windows, power locks, power steering, cruise control, and an AN AM, FM radio, and CD player. The Hannas drive it to local, regional, and national car shows, often with fellow friends and street rod enthusiasts, and have won several trophies. If you or someone you know would like to be considered for a future I Love My Ride, call 656-6290 or email me at jreeves at kenoshanews.com. I'm Jeremy Reeves for I Love My Ride. Thanks, Jeremy. Now here's a look at what we're working on today. Kenosha Unified and its teachers' union exchanged initial bargaining proposals this morning. John Kordovich was there. And this week's Sunday Choice feature by James Lawson is a look at older workers staying on the job longer. Pick up a copy of the Kenosha News and check kenoshanews.com for all the details on these stories and more. I'm Tracy Palaszczuk with the Weekday Report.